articulation describes the amount of a vehicle's vertical wheel travel. All Land Rover vehicles have excellent articulation, which means their wheels can be kept firmly in contact with the ground for longer, delivering maximum grip when driving over undulating terrain. When driving in these conditions, keep your speed down by staying in a low gear and use the brakes gently when needed. If your vehicle is fitted with a manual differential lock, ensure it's engaged before driving on this terrain. Be aware of your ground clearance at all times, if possible raising the air suspension to help ensure you avoid grounding the vehicle. You will find that the traction control is likely to operate in these conditions. When it activates, the way to get the most benefit is to maintain or increase the throttle slightly, allowing drive to be diverted to wheels that have the best grip. Land Rover models that feature air suspension are also equipped with cross-link valves. These channel air to the suspension unit of unladen wheels, so keeping them in contact with the ground for as long as possible. There is a right and a wrong way to tackle a deep ditch. If you drive into a ditch straight on, you risk damaging the front of your vehicle and getting stuck. The correct way is to drive slowly, engaging the manual differential lock and ensuring the indicator light is illuminated. Using the lowest possible gear in low range, where available, will give you maximum control and raising air suspension if fitted will reduce the chances of contact with the ground. Approach the ditch at an angle of about 45 degrees. This means three wheels will be in firm contact with ground at any time, maximizing traction. The differential lock will further increase grip, helping you negotiate the hazard safely. When driving on open ground, Following a few simple guidelines will help you make progress while minimizing damage to the terrain. If there are no established tracks on the ground, try not to follow the tire marks of previous vehicles, as this can eventually cause unwanted tracks or ruts. However, if tracks have already formed, it's best to stick to them. On wet grass or other slippery surfaces, selecting grass, gravel, snow on terrain response, engaging the manual differential lock, Selecting a higher gear and applying smooth and gentle pressure on the accelerator will reduce the risk of wheel spin. Spinning wheels will impede your progress and damage the ground. Remember that first gear in high range is roughly equivalent to third gear in low. If you're climbing or descending hills on open ground, drive straight up or down the hill and not at an angle. This will help keep the vehicle as stable as possible. When you return to the road, remember to reset your vehicle's controls. Reinflate the tires if pressures were lowered while off-road. Return terrain response to the general program setting. This will automatically adjust the vehicle's computerized systems for road driving. Select high range and reset the air suspension to normal road height. Although if you do forget, it will lower automatically when the vehicle speeds up. Disengage the manual differential lock, making sure the warning light has gone out. And make sure your lights, license plates, windows and mirrors are clean of any dirt. When ascending a steep hill, you need sufficient amounts of both traction and momentum if you're going to make it to the top. Before you start the climb, be aware of your vehicle's approach, ramp and departure angles. Remember that if you have a tow bar fitted, your departure angle will be reduced. Insufficient traction will provoke wheel spin, making it more difficult to complete the climb. Similarly, if you do not have enough vehicle momentum, you risk stalling the engine. If you do stall, don't worry. If you're in a manual transmission Land Rover with low range, hold the vehicle on the foot brake, select reverse gear, release the clutch, and then the brake pedal, and then restart the engine in gear. This means you will have the benefit of engine braking to help control the vehicle as soon as you start to move, reducing the risk of sliding backwards down the slope. A 
Attempting the climb in a lower gear will reduce the chances of stalling, but you should always try to take the slope in the highest practical gear. This is because higher gears reduce the chances of wheel spin and so increase traction. As traction is so important when climbing a hill, you may find the electronic traction control system coming into operation. The way to make the best use of this is to increase your engine speed slightly and wait for the drive to be directed automatically to the wheels with the most grip. Before you embark on a steep descent, give yourself space and time to prepare your vehicle and select your course. Stop at least a vehicle's length from the start of the hill to set up the controls. If you do not have a clear view of the slope from the driver's seat, get out of the vehicle to check the route ahead. As a general rule, select the lowest possible gear when descending to gain the maximum benefit of engine braking. Hill descent control should also be activated if fitted. Hill Descent Control, HDC, is a Land Rover innovation. It uses a system of sensors that monitors the speed of each wheel. Should it detect any risk of the vehicle moving too fast, it will automatically apply precise braking with no risk of the wheels locking. Using the foot brake in the normal way when descending a slippery hill can sometimes cause the wheels to lock and the car to slide forwards out of control. Don't be afraid of using the brakes if you have to, but remember that when you press the brake pedal, the HDC system is overridden. Trust your Land Rover, you're in safe hands. It's particularly important to make the correct preparations when driving over difficult rocky terrain. You should select the lowest possible gear in the transmission's low range if available to give you better low speed control. Vehicles with air suspension should be raised to the off-road height, and the dedicated rock crawl program should be selected in terrain response. Try to be aware of the position of your wheels and ground clearance as you approach each obstacle. It's a good idea for someone to check your progress from outside the vehicle, acting as a marshal to guide you on the best course. It's wise to keep your thumbs on the outer rim of the steering wheel. This will help prevent any injury should there be any sudden kickback. Use only the lightest throttle pressure and, if possible, avoid unnecessary clutch slip. This will let the vehicle crawl forward smoothly rather than moving in sudden lurches, so increasing your control. If traction control is operating, you will gain the most benefit from maintaining or slightly increasing the throttle. Drive will automatically be diverted to the wheels with the most grip. If fitted, pay attention to the 4x4 information display, which will indicate if the wheels are at the limit of their suspension travel. This is the point at which traction control is most likely to operate. In this way, your Land Rover can achieve gentle, controlled progress over particularly rough and uneven ground. Some vehicles don't have low range or air suspension. And if this is the case, greater consideration will need to be made to your choice of route due to the ground clearance. Gentle use of the throttle is essential, and always check your route before you set off. Use a marshal if necessary, and you will be able to tackle rocky terrain with ease. It's best to follow established tracks when driving on open ground, but remember to avoid damaging virgin ground where possible. When you're negotiating a rutted track, the most important things to be aware of are your steering position and your ground clearance. Keep the front wheels pointing in the intended direction of travel. It's quite possible to travel straight ahead for some distance without noticing that you've engaged a degree of steering lock. The high ruts will keep the vehicle on its course until a point where the vehicle is able to jump suddenly out of the tracks. When driving rutted tracks, remember to keep your thumbs on the outside of the steering wheel, as in these conditions you could experience some kickback. The sidewalls of your tyres are vulnerable to damage from sharp rocks or roots protruding from the sides of the ruts, so maintain a close watch on the way ahead. And ensure you know the position of your front wheels at all times, keeping them straight if possible. 
On some Land Rover vehicles, you can check this using the steering position indicator on the message center. Read the track ahead and be aware of obstacles that could compromise ground clearance. Side slopes are potentially the most dangerous obstacle you will encounter when driving off-road. There is a risk of your vehicle rolling over if you do not take the proper precautions. When preparing to negotiate a side slope, increase your vehicle control by selecting first gear in low range. If there is sufficient ground clearance, air suspension should be lowered, bringing down the center of gravity. Drive as slowly as you can, advancing on engine tick over or minimum throttle to avoid getting too far into trouble. Always steer straight and resist any temptation to steer up the slope, as this will upset the balance of the vehicle. Be aware of the angle of your vehicle and the risk of hitting trees or obstacles to the side. You can take further steps to lower the center of gravity by removing roof racks and stowing heavy items low down in the rear load space area, ensuring all loads are securely tied down. Once you've negotiated the side slope, remember to raise air suspension to the off-road setting if necessary.